While a downtown Windsor store has experienced yet another break in and an expensive repair bill for nothing but butter tarts. And as CTV's Rich Garten reports, the owner of Laverne's Market on University Avenue is calling on the city to do something to put a stop to the senseless vandalism. It happened just before Christmas, again last week, and early Wednesday morning, another smash and grab at a downtown Windsor grocer. The items that were stolen literally were nothing but butter tarts. $37 worth to be exact, $2,500 damage. Vern Misselchuk owns Laverne's Market. The grocery store has been open for 18 months, and Misselchuk says this is the sixth time a window has been smashed in. He's racked up nearly $20,000 in lost labor and repair costs. It's getting to a kind of a breaking point where it's, it's no longer uh, acceptable and there, steps need to be taken and not just conversation. Windsor police are investigating and trying to locate a person of interest, but won't confirm if it's the same butter tart bandit as previous robberies. Misselchuk says the similarities in the window smashing style, clothing and targeted treat are hard to ignore. And it's really mocks the city, mocks, um, you know, obviously the store. And, you know, it clearly looks as though it's the same person because butter tarts, again, were back on the table. And it's got to stop. It's got to stop right now. New downtown councillor Ronaldo Augustino has a stakeholder meeting tonight and a meeting with the mayor Thursday to discuss the issue. But I don't think it's going to be one solution. I don't think it's just mental health workers. I don't think it's just security. I think it's a combination of a few things. Misselchuk says most small business owners would have thrown in the towel by now. He's willing to stick it out, but wants action. If I close the grocery store, yeah, that's just another negative setback for the city. He adds hiring a security guard is too costly. Bars on the windows is not the look he's after. At the suggestion of Augustino, Misselchuk is installing a special 3M shatterproof window. Augustino says it's one of many things he'd like to quickly bring to the council table, noting his colleagues will financially back good ideas to stop the vandalism. They want to see downtown flourish just like everybody else does. You know, downtown Windsor is the underdog of this city, and it's time for the underdog to step up and win. Rich Garten, CTV News.